Hey guys, with Dak back with another video. In this one, we are going over the new Operation Steel Wave patch notes. Um, this is just to be a quick run through. I'm going to try to get it through it as fast as I can and give you all the information that we need. Put it in half speed if you need to, two speed if you're crazy. And let's just get into it. So starting off, we have the new operator Ace. And what he has is an AK-12 and an M-1014 and also the secondary is a P-9. His secondary gadgets are the breach charge and the smoke grenade. Very powerful kit overall and he's a two speed, two armor. So he'll be able to go around a little bit faster than say Fuse would with the AK-12. Um, it's a very powerful gun, one of the best in the game. What he has for his main gadget is a Selma Aqua Breacher. Basically, he throws it on the wall. It has three stages. It blows up the top, then the middle, then the bottom. And then it makes a uh, big sort of thermite charge uh, in the end when it blows up the top it makes a small mirror sized hole and then the second it makes a hop around through hole and then the third it makes a big hole that a human could fit through normally that's what he does he's gonna be very powerful I think and uh, he can also blow up hatches any sort of wall he's gonna be very versatile uh, can you can blow up castle barricades anything you can imagine I think he's gonna be a very powerful operator moving on we have Malusi she is a one armor three speed operator she has the c5 smg which is lesions smg as well as the super 90 and then she has the rg15 which is a scope pistol that ella has very good kit overall she has the impact grenade and then deployable shield same as alibi good kit she's a roamer and this just plays into her roaming ability there's not much more to say about it but she has the banshee sonic defense as her main gadget and with this we put it on our wall like the maestro camera but it's not a camera what it does is when an attacker walks past it he gets super slow and he can't really move around that well until he gets out of the range you can destroy these with a blow up thingy or a melee thingy so if you punch it or you explode it it's gone but if you shoot it it's still there i don't know why uh for some reason punching things in this game is so powerful shooting them doesn't do shit moving on map rework house uh, this is the new map rework. It's only going to be in casual, but it's a lot bigger, better, more superior, amazinger. It's a better map overall. I'm sad that the ha that the old one's gone. I hope I can love this one as much. I never loved House in the first place. Moving on, we have Amaro changes. So basically, this is a big rework to her. What happens is when she shoots her grapple hook, it hits the window, doesn't break it. And then as soon as you go to the window, you can break through it. It's going to be a little bit quieter at first. Uh, you can still hear the zing of the rapper coming up, but um, it's just not going to be as identifying. And then also when she's inside a building, she can break the hatches right away with her grappling gun. So she doesn't have to pull out the shotgun and use it. It's going to free up her kit a little bit. Um, I think there's a big changes. It's going to be scary seeing what she does in the future. Moving on, the secondary gadget, the new secondary gadget for the Defender is the proximity alarm. Basically, you throw this on the wall, whatever's in its sight. Um, when an attacker gets in its sight, it's going to go wing, wing, wing. It's going to make similar to how um, Bank works with the metal alarms when you walk through there. For whatever reason, they always go off uh, crazily. And so this is going to be similar to that, except for the fact that you can put it anywhere and it's not just by open area and it's annoying like that. Um, it's also going to be annoying, especially more. But let's see how it turns out. Moving on. So we have Unified MMR and Champions Rank. Basically, no matter what country or region you win, you're going to have the same rank no matter what. So say you change your region from the United States to Great Britain and you had a plat in the United States, you're gonna have a plat in Great Britain. Same thing. Uh, that way you can't kind of cheat the system if some players are worse in a certain area. Whew, moving, moving on, so this is the Elite Echo set. I've been playing, watching a lot of Naruto lately. This kind of hits, uh, kind of hits it uh, right in the feels right now. This looks really cool. I like it a lot. I wish he had a sword, but he actually kind of, in the, in the video you'll get to see it. He throws his yokais around like shurikens and then they come back to him and they kind of float and he does like a ninja stance. It's really dope. I like it a lot. It's going to make a lot of money. Excuse me. Moving on. Operator price decrease. So basically operators a year ago and two years ago are now getting the renown down. Um, overall, I mean, this will be going on for years. The new skins, Steel Wave weapon skins. I always buy these skins every year, but at the same time, these ones kind of look trash. Uh, but at the same time, um, you could like them. You could not. It's subjective. I hate them. No, I'm just kidding. I don't hate them. They kind of look like dirt, and this one kind of looks like a sand castle. Uh, that's what it's going for. Steel wave. Huh, I kind of get it. This one looks like a beach house, and this one looks like a beach. Yeah, it's whatever. They, <laughs> they're kind of cool, I guess. Operated balance. So this is the big stuff. So clash. Now her SMG won't be a red dot. It'll be a triangle, but it's still gonna be the same sight. So same sight, different uh, reticle. Echo. 
Remove the camera shake effect from the yokai's concussion effects. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the length of the con con concussion effect is no longer affected uh, by movement, so it, whether you stand still or you move around, it's going to be the same effect uh, the whole time, which makes it just more consistent. Now, it has a fixed duration of 10 seconds, and the intensity of the vision disruption stays fixed throughout the effect. So I want to say that that uh, is buffed to how long it lasts, but it's just going to be fixed with that uh, same sort of stuff. It's going to be more consistent. And then they replace the deployable shield with an impact grenade. He's going to be able to move and fix around the map a little differently, but he won't be able to hide behind that deployable shield anymore. So if you're an Echo Mine, watch out for that. Moving on to Flinka. Uh, I just want to preface this. For me, the way I'm reading it, it says the same thing twice, but gives a different way of saying it. So it's different. It's like the same idea, but they're doing it different ways. Uh, I'll just read it to you. So the increased base HP to 30 from 5 to 10 HP divided by Flinka's mana boost. And then down but not out, players will stand up with 50 HP, uh, 30 from their own HP, and then 20 from Flinka boost. That's confusing to me. So 30, 20, 35. I don't get it. I don't get it. We'll see what happens in the game. Kaid. Uh, they added the LFP 586 secondary to the loadout. So now he has the revolver and he has the sniping pistol. So if you don't want the sniping pistol, you can pick the revolver. Cali. They reduced the LV explosive lance's fuse time to 1.5 down from 2.5. So now a bandit behind the wall, he has the zzz pop. It'll be a little bit faster. And so now it'll do zzz pop instead of zzz pop. So he won't be able to pick up the battery charge in time. That's going to suck for the defender. It's going to be good for Cali. I like these buffs. They made a recoil better. And then the big thing is that they took away her P22 MK5 and they replaced it with Clash's SMG. So she's going to be able to kind of frag a little bit better. It's going to give her um, more ease of use. I like it a lot. It'll be nice. We'll see what happens. Nomad, they added the PR892 secondary weapon to her loadout. So now she's going to have the Beretta, the same secondary pistol that Khaki Cow has. Uh, basically, if you want the scope gun, like I said, you can have it. Or if you want this, you can have it personally. I'm going to take this gun over the scope gun just because she already has the ACOG. Um, it's really up to your preference. Moving on to Oryx. So they reduced the damage taken when dashed through walls to 5 down from 10. I like this a lot. I'll be able to go through walls a lot more without being worried about my health going down a ton. Good fix. Um, they probably saw that no one was going through walls because they don't want to get down... 10 whole health. That's 3 bullets from 4 bullets. That's a big difference. Bulletproof camera is replaced with a proximity alarm secondary gadget. So now he's going to get the proximity alarm secondary gadget. Uh, you know, two different forms of intel. Now he's going to have to hear people. One, he's have to, you know, open up his camera and look at people. I like this personally. We'll see how it works. And then they added the angle grip option to Orcs' MP5. So now he can bash through the wall and then aim real fast. Instead of bashing through the wall and then sort of aiming fast. And still not having an ACOG, so he dies from across the map. Um, now he will still die from across the map, but he'll be able to aim faster and maybe have a chance. I love Sophia. So they eliminated the mouse sensibility modifier from concussion effect of the Bozak sister's gadget. So now, LMIs, um, if you get hit by one, you'll still be able to react and look around and shoot, but you still won't be able to move, and your screen will be all green. Same goes for Sophia's concussion grenade. Lastly, Ying, they removed the candela to bring it down to three from four candelas. Uh, PC already had this, but now it's going to be on Xbox. Whatever. Uh, PS4 too. I hate them both. Just kidding. I love your Xbox, but whatever. Uh, love you, Zen. Tweaks and improvements. So game balancing the ACS-12. Uh, new slug bullet type. So now they're going to give the automatic shotgun slugs. I don't know how this is going to work. I'm kind of scared because it kind of goes against everything that that gun stands for, which is blowing up lots. And now it will have slugs. So it could shoot across the map, but only does 30 damage. I really don't know how this is going to turn out. We'll just see. And then player comfort updates to playlist ga uh, guides. Playlist guides. Uh, they upgraded uh, the playlist guides. You'll be able to see the rank chart. Same stuff. Map rotations for both ranked and quick match uh, will now also rotate automatically three times per season. And the current map pool information will be displayed on the playlist guides. I like this. Uh, hopefully we change our rank maps a little bit because the ones that we have this season have gotten really stale for me. It's probably because I've played 350 plus matches and I'm still in sand silver. I hate this game. I love this game. Audio localization. So localization recordings for the new operators Ace and Malusi will not be available in French or Russian for the season release. My guess is this is because of COVID-19. They just weren't able to get the recorders uh, to do their voices uh, maybe in time, but this is going to come later. And then Japanese uh, voices were a little bit better for Frost and Khaki Cow. Whew. Game health. So match constellation. Now, if you join a match and you only have four people and they have five, you guys can vote to leave. Uh, and not lose any MMR because, you know, Siege servers hate you and they place you with three retards instead of four retards. 
uh, forgive me for saying that, but you know, maybe you could be the lone retard. You could vote for yourself and get out of there. But however, if you leave before uh, all of you guys vote to leave, then you'll still lose MMR, which kind of blows, but that's what it is. Um, moving on. Uh, changes to rank clearance and level champion requirements. So basically, this is to stop cheaters as much from uh, being in the higher levels or rank at all. Uh, the rank clearance level changed from 30 to 50. So now you just won't be able to play with your friends as soon if you start a new match. Uh, you won't be able to play in rank. But at the same time, you know, whatever. 30 to 50, it's not that big of a difference. But 50 is still a high level, you know. Um, 30 people are kind of stupid. 50 people are less stupid. I'm stupid at level what 250 on xbox and level 130 in this on pc i'm still an idiot so it, it doesn't really matter but at the same time it's just gonna stop cheaters uh to reach champion rank players must now have 5000 mmr and now they must additionally have to play 100 rank matches before they become champion uh so at the highest level play now you need to have 100 rank matches played at least um again to stop cheaters a little bit uh you don't want if you're a cheater you don't want to have to play 100 matches or maybe you do and you just get off on pain and hurting other people's feelings and making them want to cry and wait until they get their mmr back that's what that is anyway um so there's more bugs stuff that they're talking about and then the benchmark update which i don't understand but that's basically the entire thing if you want to read these you can go through right now pause the video uh look over it and we're done with that so now we're moving up basically um i kind of like what's going on here I don't know what's gonna I don't know what's gonna be lately I've just been kind of going with the vibe of whatever the hell Ubisoft wants to do with their updates I kind of I like these ones I like these ones so far especially with Cali I think that was needed especially with uh, orcs that was needed these both are just kind of um, for the health of the game making you actually want to play against these operators this is good for Finca because you might want to actually play that operator and then this uh, same thing as Ellen Sophia you might actually want to play against this operator with that operator now he does in, have a deployable shield. We'll just see how it goes because he still has a good SMG all the same. And this change just gives it a triangle. Um, it's it's a triangle, man. It's not a circle. It's a triangle. Same stuff, different day. But basically, that has been my, um, my overview of the next season and what's going on. A lot of the stuff is going to be in the test server first. And then it's going to go into the live game. But anything could change. So uh, don't keep your hopes up for your favorite thing to happen in these changes. At the same time, it probably will. Um, anyway, this has been Whip. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Please like, please subscribe, and please share. If you don't like it, please dislike, because uh, then at least you're an honest and you have intrigue. Is that the right word? At least you're, you know, you're honest about things. Um, but you could be a dick. I don't care. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.